uh, mandates, um, just the whole way of life is um, changing. Um, these mobile apps are um, becoming the wave. Banking, uh, food apps, delivery apps, uh, you know, the driving apps have been away for a few years now, especially in major cities that have high tourism and high traffic volumes. Um, but nonetheless, um, the way that we carry about in life is uh, changing. You know, and as human beings, what we can't do is get too comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with things being one way or the other. You know what I'm saying? One thing you have to understand about life yeah, um, that is guaranteed uh, to happen. The one guarantee in life is death. It's one thing that every last one of us has in common is that all of us must taste it one day. You know what I'm saying? That's the only certainty in life. Um, but change is the one thing that's constant in life. You know what I'm saying? Whether, uh, I mean, you, you can look at change on a grand scope or you can look at it on a small meniscal scope. Uh, hell, you change your clothes every day. Uh, you change your mind about things, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, so change is a constant in life, you know what I'm saying, everything's not going to stay the same, and you should be weary about things that stay the same, because, you know, there's nothing, nothing grows from stagnation but filth, so, you know, you have to be weary about being in the same position, or People who are satisfied with being in those positions, the same position in life, same block, same, you know, you got to be worried about those type of people. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to be um, careful about the type of energy that you uh, take in and allow around you. You know what I'm saying? The energy is, you know, if you pay, you know, paid attention in school. Um, you know, energy is vibrations, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, those vibes come off and you soak those vibrations up, you know what I'm saying? You not no, you ain't no repellent, you feel what I'm saying? So, you have to be careful about the type of energy that you allow around you in life, in situations, in business, you know what I'm saying? All the way around the board. Uh, play, recreation, you know what I'm saying? Your health. Uh, just have to be careful, be mindful, man. You don't want to allow the wrong type of vibrations around you. You know, the people who... People in life can't, can't seem to never get shit going. Or get shit right. And there's always something... Because um, I ain't going to even say necessarily get shit going. Because I mean, shit, you can have money and everything and shit just always happening to you, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, you know, the, the certain type of vibration that you give off, you know, trouble or drama is always seems to fall in your lap and come your way, and you know, you might need to take a step back, and like I said on episode four, weigh yourself up, put yourself up on the scale, you know what I'm saying, shit, because you might be the toxic motherfucker in your whole situation and in your circle. You might need to do some shadow work, step back and look at you. You know what I'm saying? And it's almost in any circle. Any walk of life. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that's walking around today in these days and times who feel because their finances are intact or up to par and you know they rolling with the stream the mainstream of um you know 
aristocratic behavior, you know what I'm saying? They ain't all into the hot waves, you know, the uh the things that are uh in style, eating, you know, the whole eating healthy because you can afford it. You know, doing all the things that are, you know, well to do people are into. We all know what I'm talking about. So I ain't finna get into specifics because I don't want nobody to feel like I'm targeting them. You know what I'm saying? You all know who you are. You know, you people who, uh, shit, we ain't gonna sugarcoat shit right here on there, man. You know, you bougie motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You know. Because you got it, you got to have the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? At least what you heard was the best of the best. You know, the uppity motherfuckers is eating and shit. You know what I'm saying? Or drinking and shit, or doing and shit, or going and shit. You feel what I'm saying? You just got to be with the shit and shit. You feel what I'm saying? You ain't come from this type of shit, but you're going to be with this shit. You know what I'm saying? But... Let me digress. <laughs> People who seem to have everything put together on the outside don't necessarily be fully intact. And one thing about you, one thing about life that I, I want people to really truly understand is that you know what I'm saying. In, in, in due times, all things become unveiled for what they really are. So you can mask it all up all you want. You know what I'm saying? You can throw the finest clothes, the best hair, best makeup, best perfume, the most expensive is of all things. But when there's disease in the heart all of those things can't cover up the disease you see what I'm saying so um, that pride pride be a disease that people that blacken the heart and make people blind to they can't even see themselves for what they really be, you know what I'm saying? And I said all that to say this, I'm gonna take you to what brought all this about. So I had an old, old teenage friend contact me, and this friend was, um, now I'm gonna be honest, I had been trying to find this friend, you know what I'm saying, um, for some years, and wondered how they were doing. I always wondered, you know what I'm saying, somebody that I really kind of cared about, you know what I'm saying, I had always cared about, um, considered to be a genuine person, because I know where this person came from, you know what I'm saying, the humble beginnings that they came from, and the hard work that they did, and hustle and grind to get themselves uh, into a better position, and all, you know, from where I stood um, before, you know, I became incarcerated and was gone for 12 years. So, you know, it had always been in the back of my mind, you know what I'm saying, how uh, the individual was doing. <laughs> and so, I did my efforts and put forth my efforts to try to find um, my old close friend. And with all my efforts uh, ending up in failure, kind of gave up after a few years, to be honest. You know, I just kind of look at things as, you know, the pen is lifted and the ink is dry. What's meant for you in this life can't pass you by. What's not meant for you can't have no harm or effect upon you. You know what I'm saying? Call the uh, divine decree. Islamic word for divine decree that all things are written um, so I kind of wrote everything off <coughs> uh, and just 
with one night out of the blue deciding to a check the request in my messages in my messenger something that I don't really normally do messages that came from people who I'm not friends with don't know uh, normally be scammers and people trying to scam and shit so I you know I ignore that shit but nonetheless saw a um, message request and I looked on to see what the message is and the message said hey I know you <laughs> or I think I know you and I said my response was well if you do thinking that I had somebody who was bullshitting so you know normally this this response will end the bullshit so I shot back with uh, well if you know me what's my real name my government name. And they responded back, yeah, I know you. And I said, well, where from? And they responded back with my government name. So I knew kind of from the picture that was up for the profile exactly who it was. It was the individual that I was looking for beforehand. So, with that, we started to conversate and everything, traded numbers, uh, talked a few days, and, you know, catching up and everything. And the more I started to open up and expand on the things that I had going on in my life and the people I had that were around me and my life that are around me in my life and the people that uh you know that I look out for and those who look out for me certain comments were made and the comments were made with such an air of um, audacity snobbish audacity and uh, aristocrat aristocratic condemnation that at first I tried to ignore then finding myself not being able to ignore certain comments I started to you know try to clean up what the individual was saying you know maybe you mean like this so don't you know and it led me to understanding that certain subjects shouldn't be discussed leave certain subjects alone but then we got to talking about things involuntary conversation uh, 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 following day and the things that she had and I'm gonna be open it was a female friend from my past someone I dated when I was younger we always remained friends we were always good friends but she went to tell after Pressing. Excuse me, I'm speaking a little cushionese. After pressing and questioning me about things I had going on in my life, started to open up about her life, which, where she'd been, what she'd done, who she was connected to, what she knew. Just, you know. I'm just trying to impress with all these materialistic things, all these places she's been because of her job. And <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on, on that. You know, I'm glad that she's had those experiences. 
but those experiences aren't 